anyways, today I just wanted to hop on here and share with you my February favorites, if you couldn't guess that from the title. And I know it's about like a week into March and I'm a little bit late on this, but I really wanted to share some products that I have been loving for the month of February with you guys. So let's just quickly get right into it. I'm going to start off with two hair care products that I've really been loving. And if you guys couldn't tell, I actually got a full head of highlights about, ooh, I don't know, a few weeks ago now. After my friend did my hair, I went to the store in search for some shampoo and conditioner that was geared specifically towards blonde hair. And I came across the John Frieda Go Blonder Lightning Shampoo and Conditioner. And I have heard reviews on... Um, on these products in the past and some of them weren't the greatest. I heard that they were really irritating to the scalp. I heard that they could turn your hair orange and putting all that aside I decided to purchase them anyway. And I'm actually really glad that I did because I have been loving them. It's really done a great job at keeping my highlights light and lifting the surrounding hair that wasn't highlighted. So I've really been loving these. Also, um, I do want to mention that I have a very sensitive scalp and I did not have any issues with these products. Like, my scalp is allergic to pretty much any permanent hair dye that is put on it, like, and I get a very, very bad reaction to it. But I also want, do want to mention that I think these products have been reformulated because I was reading some reviews on Makeup Alley after I purchase the products. Does anyone else do that? Like, does that even make sense? I'll purchase a product and then I will go on to Makeup Alley and read reviews on it, but does that really matter at that point? Because I already spent my money on it. Tell, let me know if any of you guys do that. I don't know. So anyway, so I read on Makeup Alley that these have been reformulated and they're apparently not as good as the original ones. So maybe that has something to do with the fact that, that I didn't have a reaction to it because maybe it was a little bit stronger in the past. Um, but nonetheless, I really have been liking the shampoo and conditioner. So next, I guess I will go into my other hair care item and that is organic coconut oil. And I just have the brand Spectrum. I picked this up at Whole Foods. And I actually have two favorite uses for this particular product for this month. My first is just as a hair mask. I'll apply it to my hair from like my ears down. I'll throw it up in a bun and I'll sleep in it. And it really moisturizes my hair. I will say though that it does leave a little bit of a film. So if I don't rinse it out twice, it could make my hair look a little bit greasy. Also, since my hair is so dry, when I leave my hair curly, I will use the tiniest amount of this on my ends of my hair, and it makes it more manageable. I've also been loving coconut oil as a body butter. And basically what I've been doing is I've been mixing coconut oil and shea butter, and I will apply it when I get out of the shower at night. If you use it at night and you wake up the next morning, your skin is still moisturized, and it's so soft, it's smooth. I love the smell of it. Not everyone is going to like the smell of the shea butter and coconut oil if it, the smell isn't for you. Use essential oil like lavender or something just to um, mask the smell a little bit. It's probably the most moisturizing thing that I've ever put on my skin before, so I think that's awesome. If you guys want a video on how I make the body butter, just let me know and I'll set something up in my kitchen and um, show you exactly how it's done. I guess I'll move on to skin, my skincare now. I have changed up my skincare quite a bit from my winter skincare routine video that I have posted. I'll link that down below if you guys do want to see it. My skin was so dry. It looked dull. It looked lifeless. It just, it was not fun. I had like flakes like around my eye area and I was totally needing a revamp of my skincare. Anyway, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with the Clarisonic. It does a great job of clear, cleaning your face. Like, it's crazy because I thought I was getting all my makeup off when I was washing my face before. No. You don't realize how much gunk is left over and I really think that's why I got my occasional breakouts that I did looking back. But my skin is barely breaking out. I mean I'll get the occasional breakout but I really think that left the leftover makeup that was in my skin that I had no idea was there was really the cause of so many of the little bumps on my face and just random breakouts that I would get. So I'm seriously in love with this product. As far as getting rid of my dry skin, I, I went online and I researched for some natural oils that I can go ahead and put onto my skin. 
so I went ahead I did some research and I came across rosehip seed oil I ordered this on Amazon it was about three dollars is great for acne prone skin it's great for eczema dry skin source of omega-6 fatty acids to the skin so it plumps your skin up it sinks right in as soon as I started using this I saw a major improvement in my skin my skin looked more radiant it was more plump it was full it it looked a thousand times better and I've used this every night since I've had it and I haven't had any issues with breakouts or pimples or anything like that and I do have pretty sensitive skin when it comes to breakouts. I do break out pretty easily. So, okay so the last products are just a few makeup products that I've really been loving. The first one I want to mention is the Garnier BB Cream Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector for combination to oily skin. And I actually just did a video on my favorite drugstore BB Cream, so I'm not going to go into this product in too much detail. I will link that video down below, and you can w watch that there for a better, more in-depth review of this product. But I just wanted to say that I love this. I'm wearing it right now. It gives a beautiful finish to the skin. It's great for everyday wear, great for the oily skin girls who want a BB cream, who want to wear a tinted moisturizer. I absolutely love this product. My next makeup product is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I am in NW25. This product has a technology where it doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles, and I absolutely love it. This concealer covers so well, it lasts all day, and my favorite thing about it is the fact that it does not settle into lines because I've had huge problems with concealer settling on my skin lately and this has been the best concealer that I've come across that does not settle. Next makeup product is something that I've rediscovered. It's the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara and it's just the one that has the really thin brush. This mascara has replaced all of my other mascaras right now. My favorite drugstore mascara, I still really do love the MAC Hot and Naughty Lash, but I honestly have not reached for that since I have rediscovered this. And I also want to say it holds a curl so well. I will hold a curl like all day. Like it doesn't run, it doesn't give me raccoon eyes. It just, it's an amazing, amazing mascara and I love it. So the last makeup item is something that's really exciting and it is the Rimmel, well, at least for me, <laughs> it is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes waterproof um coal liner and it is a nude peach colored liner oh my goodness i have been waiting forever for the drugstore to come out with something like this they're great for the waterline to open up the eyes to my cvs about like three weeks ago two and a half weeks ago and i came across this in a rimmel display i don't know if it's a limited edition item i freaking hope not because oh my god it's perfect it's in the shade 005 nude it lasts you put it in your waterline, it opens up your eyes, it brightens everything up. It's amazing. I'm so happy that the drugstore finally came out with a liner like this. Oh my god. Seriously, go run out to your CVS, your Walgreens, your Target, wherever you can find Rimmel and pick this up. It was $4.99. I love it. I wanted to include a people favorites as well. And my two people favorites that I've been loving for the month of February are Beauty by Destiny and Van Cheek. Beauty by Destiny does makeup videos here on YouTube and she's so sweet. She's such a nice girl. I've been talking to her a lot. And then another person that I've been loving to watch this month is Van Cheek. She does awesome organizational videos that completely will clear out your closet, clutter, your life. She's amazing. She does the most helpful videos if you guys are not organized or if you're cluttered or if you're a pack rat <laughs> or any of the above. I am not the most organized person in the world so I find her videos so so helpful. So if you guys um, need some help in that department please go check her out. Whew. Those are all of my favorites for the month of February. I hope you guys enjoyed some of my products. Let me know what your favorites were this month. Also, I want to apologize for my lack of uploading lately. I've been super busy with so many different things and I just want to thank you guys for being patient with me and I promise I will be uploading more videos very soon. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you aren't already. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys are having a great day and a great week and I will talk to you guys very soon. Oh, 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 oh,